I'm going to read the story called The Giant with Eyes on Her Knees. The giant was so tall, she had an extra pair of eyes on her knees so she could see where her feet were going. When she went out walking, her kneecap eyes would guide her. Look out, there's a house coming up, they would warn, and the giant would step sideways. Because she was a kindly giant and didn't like scrunching things, when people saw her coming, they stood very still and knew they would be safe. With her kneecap eyes on the watch, the giant was no danger at all. Summer came and the giant was hot. She sat on the mountain top where the breezes blow. But still she was hot. I'll try the sea, she decided. I'll go and paddle. So she went to the beach, took off her shoes and socks and waded into the water. Ah, that's cool, she sighed. But her kneecap eyes cried out, No, no, this water is too salty. It stings. It stings. Ooh. That's the picture of the giant. They clamped their eyelids tight shut and wouldn't open them again. The giant didn't know where her feet were going. When she stepped back on the land, she flattened the surf club building. Lucky no one was in it. Her second step scrunched the pigsty on Farmer Scrubbit's farm. Pigs squealed, hens flapped, and dogs scrambled out of the way. Farmer Scrubbit grabbed a pitchfork and jabbed it in the giant's toe. The giant stopped. What's going on down there, she roared. Can't see, can't see, cried the kneecap eyes. We sting, we hurt, can't see at all. And they screwed themselves up tighter than before. Somebody do something, rumbled the giant. If I move, I'll squash some more. Stop, wait, stay there, said Farmer Scrubbit. Don't move, I've got an idea. He rushed inside and rang the fire brigade. Soon, with a flurry of flashing lights and wailing sirens, the fire engine arrived. The firemen ran out their ladders and hoses and squirted streams of fresh water into kneecap eyes. Ah, that's better, they blinked. We can see, we can see. Now we can tell you where to move. The giant was not listening. She was bending over, looking at the fire engine. She had never seen it working before. This is a handy wee thing. I'll keep it. If I wade in the water tomorrow, I can wash my eyes out afterward. No, no, said the fireman, jumping up and down, waving hands in the air. That's our fire engine. You can't have that. We need it. What for? boomed the giant. For fires. A house might burn down. We need the fire engine to put out fires. Well, grumbled the giant, you think of another way to wash the salt out of my eyes and I will give it back. Until then, I will keep it. And she stamped away back to the mountain top. The people of the town held a meeting. What shall we do? What shall we do? How can we get our fire engine back? They asked. There was silence while everyone thought hard, but no one had any ideas until little Billy Crabtree said, My eyes sting in the sea, so I wear goggles. Goggles? We'll make the giant some goggles. Billy Great Crabtree giggled. Goggles are no good on knees. They would hold her knees together, and the giant would fall over. You'll have to make her two separate gogs. Well then, gogs. Who knows how to make gogs? Nobody knew. So the bosses of the big factory sat at the table and invented some plans. Aluminium frames. They'll be light and easy to wear. Magnifying glass, said a man from the glass factory, so that she can see us better. I will make those. Rubber around the edges, said the man from the tyre factory. I can make those. Straps and buckles to hold them in place, said the man from the leather factory. I can make those. They rushed away to their workplaces where the lights blazed all night and the machinery clanked and groaned and they churned out their part of the cogs. In the morning, the gogs were put together and they were dragged down the beach. When the giant arrived for her paddle, the people were waiting. As she sat down to take off her shoes and socks, they swarmed all over her like ants. What's this? What's this? She roared. You're tickling me. Get off. We bought you some gogs. Here she is. That's the giant's gogs. 
When they were on, the giant waded into the water to try them out. She was delighted. Great, great, she said. My eyes can see. The water can't sting them. They are telling me all about the fish they can see. Oh, this is fun. She was in the sea for a long time, and when she came back to the shore, she said, Here, here is your fire engine back. I don't need it now, and thank you. My gogs are great. But, er, uh, one thing. Could you invent some windscreen wipers for them, please, so I can wear them in the rain? That was the story of the giant with eyes on her knees.